Hey, greetings Haskell folks. Welcome to a new Haskell video. We're going to be solving some catas in Haskell. Um, and today we're going to be counting bits. And we're going to first do a very crappy way, the lazy way I came up with first. And then we're going to actually do a software engineering proper solution uh, after we check the most voted solution of Code Wars, of course. So this is the problem that we have now. Write a function that takes an integer as input and returns the number of bits that are equal to one in the binary representation of that number. You can guarantee that input is non-negative. And for example, we have the binary representation of one, two, three, four is one, zero, zero, blah, blah, blah. So the function should return five in this case, because if you count, there are five ones. And we have our initial bit of code. As you know, um, programming in the environment from Code Wars is quite, has a very bad developer experience, to say the least. So we're going to use um, Visual Studio Code. And to begin this problem, we're going to begin with the crappy solution first. We're going to define a helter that we're going to call to binary. Nice. And we're going to give it an int, and we want to output a string. And we need to import a couple of things. We're going to import numeric module, show int at base. And then we're going to import from the module data.char the int to digit function. And now we can say that turn a, a number into binary, we can say show int at base two, because it's binary. We're going to say int to digit now. and we did the number that we want to convert to binary, we're passing it here, and then an empty string. And we're going to test this out. And for example, we say to binary, one, two, three, four. And we have exactly the string that we should. Nice. So now, since we are dealing with strings, we want to filter all the numbers that are just a one. So we're going to do filter equals the char one and apply to binary. We're going to comment this out and try it. And if we say count bits now from one, two, three, four, we have all the ones. Great, but we're still dealing with strings. So now we want to pass these ones into actual numbers so that we can fold them and sum them. So we need another function that is called digit to int. And we're going to fmap this by this function. I reload, and we try this again now. We have effectively a list of ones. And what happens if we sum them all? Well, we get our beautiful function from int to int that we were looking for. And it outputs five. Great, so let's copy this now to code words and be ashamed of ourselves once more. So we paste it here and we hit attempt, and now I hit submit, and dun, 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 we made it. And now for the shape part. We said before that we were going to do the crappy solution, that's what we did, it's a very lazy solution, I'm sorry I'm a very lazy engineer, and now we're actually going for the good one. So this is the cleverest solution. Nice, so what this guy is doing here? Let's copy the solution. Suppose that we throw away our stupid solution. What is this solution doing? Well, if you actually know how to pass decimal numbers to binary numbers, you know you need to divide by number by two and then keep count of the remainder of that number and keep dividing the quotient of the number until it reaches zero. So now what we're going to do is to turn count bits in our own function that is going to convert an integer to a binary number in a string format and then see how we can solve the problem in a more elegant way. So we're going to say that we are going to return a string. This is the end case of our recursion in which we're going to append anything. We need to first show the reminder of the first operation and then append it to recursively call the rest of the division. So modulus in Haskell, you might be familiar with it and storing and returning our reminder every time. And div is integer division, truncated, so that we don't have to convert to the float and do actual divisions because we don't care about that. So now we have these two functions to compare each other. And if I call to binary on one, two, three, four, they should work. And if I call count bits in one, two, three, four, we see that we are returning exactly the same string. So now we're effectively 
converting to binary ourselves. So we don't need this stupid function. We define it ourselves. And now what is what we want? Well, instead of appending zeros and ones, we actually want to sum the numbers when they are one. So we can now return our type signature to receiving int and returning int. We are not concatenating anymore. We are summing. We don't need show anymore. So now let's see what this does. Now we are appending whatever is the reminder of the first division and then recursively still convert to binary numbers. If the modulus is zero, we're going to add zero, which obviously does nothing. And if we return one, we're going to increment our count. So now if we call count bits and we pass one three four, we're returning five. This is the perfect solution. I hope you enjoy it and maybe you, you learned something new today. So please hit like to help me make more Haskell videos. And if not, maybe I should go back to JavaScript forever. I don't know.